Okay, pay T-Mobile my bill yesterday. My wireless should be work. My wireless should be working. How about we turn off? Nope, nope. Let's say it's uh. Uh, T-Mobile, I paid you my bill. Come on. There we go. What is up, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Royal Revolt. Uh, oh, eh? uh, that's kind of good, kind of good. Let's go. Oh, I, I got fucked up there. Got fucked up there. Fucked up there. Ooh, Shady Zach got fucked up. Ha! Huh? Ha, huh, Shady Zach, you only got 3% on my... Okay, actually, I don't know why you don't get 3%. That's kind of weird. Anyways, and then there's uh, DY who used Apocalypse and he only got one crown. Anyways, this is really important. I need to point you guys out really quick. DV up used uh, Apocalypse and lost, so I don't think he knows how to play the game. I'm just going to be honest, not offensively. Shady Zach... Again, same with him, because he had an elite boosted uh, Froster, and he was not able to beat my base, whereas you see Ofranco had just Froster, and he beat my base. What you do need to pay attention to, though, is Bad Flamed used Firestorm. Remember, that first spell is what they used the most. Firestorm kicked my ass. Byron, Firestorm kicked my ass. Franco, Firestorm kicked my ass. Again, Shady Zack had Firestorm, but I don't... I don't know what he was doing, but great, a great example is um, as you go down the list, the last character does not have Firestorm. That's that's a great example because I told you guys I have wooden barricades and wooden arrow towers. So got to keep that in mind. And uh, we did make some trophies, though. We lost eight and nine and another nine. That makes 18, eight, 26. We lost 26, but we made 31. So we actually made trophies. We lost just a tiny bit of money, honestly, and that's not that's not anything at all. Boost your castle. Um, no, 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 thank you. Any, oh my god. Okay, so first thing first, we gotta grab our barricades. We're gonna upgrade our barricades. Toxic Cloud, and if you guys did not notice, I got level 5 Hammer Strike, level 4 Toxic Cloud, and level 3 Stun. Everything is basically maximum level in my Mage's Tower. Stun is a new spell I'm gonna explain to you guys today, so do not worry about that at all. And we do have our newest wave. Well, I officially have three waves. Every wave is coming in at 40 seconds now. And my first, oh God. And my first wave is coming in at uh, 13 morale points, which is super awesome. Remember I told you guys the number one thing you want to upgrade, number one thing defense wise is your morale waves. You could, you, could, you could literally have maybe like no towers, no obstacles whatsoever, but as long as you have your morale points super, super high, you will destroy everyone. So anyways, let's check out our alliance really quick. Uh, mailbox, at Jaws. At Jaws, I remember you're, you're uh, someone, uh, you're a subscriber, that is awesome. And we see that, yes, Hakama denoted another 510 gold, another 510 gold, which is, shout out to Hakama FTW, that's fucking insane. I'm actually not going to delete when anyone donates, just because I largely do appreciate that. In the meantime, I think we have uh, new vouchers to grab, which is super good. Again, I don't really care for these vouchers, but I need to point out that these vouchers are super good for one specific reason, and that is to buy bread. You can buy bread with them, and it's, it's so fucking helpful. I got new messages from Hakama. Uh, I was upgraded to level 3 on his throne room, and he's reached level 11. Anyways, our missions, we can't turn in Blaster Master, which is when I was clearing up those rooms, to, so that way I could, you know add more stuff in. I can't clear that off right now, but uh, that quest, I can turn it in for $250,000, which is bigger than my bank, so I'm not allowed to cash it in just yet. Remember, first, most important thing, after all my uh, couple minutes of talking, you always want to grab your money from your taverns, and you want to always grab up your farms. There we go. We have maxed farm now. That's beautiful. We're going to have a couple raids to do today, and in the meantime, we want to start some upgrades, so we got a suggestion. Uh, I don't really care for that cave. Oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. There's something really important that we're going to do today. And first of all, I need to go to our treasury. Because as you can notice, Hakama has donated $1.2 million. $1.2 million. I donated 1000 which is okay. But remember, if you're in uh, the Alliance and you want to join, please just remember to donate daily. Even if it's, you can only donate 1000 daily, that's fine by me. It just lets me know that you guys are engaged. But this motherfucker has donated $1.2 mil, which means, yes, we are going to upgrade and get power archers now. We have power archers, and these things are absolutely insane. The reason why I'm freaking out, we're just gonna keep grabbing these. We're just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep, just, just keep going. 
I'm just gonna keep taking them. He donated so much money, I can keep upgrading. And we have Blazing Knight level three. So each elite boost, I have a regular boost, and then it has individual levels for it as well. I'm gonna donate my 1,000, which I can do in an hour and 27 minutes from now. But in the meantime, I would like to upgrade my tower, so that way I can able to donate $2,000 a day for four gems. The Alliance Tower is the only tower in the game that you can upgrade four gems. In the meantime, I gotta check out what's going on here. Now that's a lot of, yeah, we talked about this yesterday. No worries there. But yeah, so now our alliance has reached level 8, level 7, level 6, and power archer has been activated. Something I was going to point out is for the first 20 levels of the game, you could definitely use your knights. But now that we have reached level 20, we have our wonderful, wonderful power archers. And these things are insane. So the reason we have not been using archers is because archers attack, which is what is called piercing damage, right? But... But, but, wait, wait, it says regular archers. Give me, give me like two seconds. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm confused. Wait, give me, yeah, give me like two seconds. So, they attack with what is called piercing damage, and piercing damage means that, see, look, we're gonna, I can't check it through here, but I'll show you guys in just a moment. Piercing damage is actually a resistant to a barricade. They take less damage from piercing, less damage from piercing. I don't even think spikes take it. No, the spikes do take it, but it's 100% it's resistant. 150% resistant, you know, 50 everything is resistant, but if you check out, they also have a weakness to blunt damage. So now, when the archers were super effective to taking out troops, they're also now super effective against taking out a base. So, we're gonna use these, we're gonna call them pack-a-punched archers. We're gonna use these boosted archers to go down and unlock our first uh, monster in the game, which is going to be the behemoth. So the, uh, it's basically an ogre, we can call it that, but I guess you guys want to call it behemoth. No, 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 it's called behemoth chamber, but it unlocks an ogre, that's what it is. So, we're going to get rid of our paladins here, and we're going to upgrade our archers. Oh, so yeah, this costs 100 bread to attack, and keep in mind, the bread of your, uh, raid, or your bread of your dungeon should equal to your raid. If the bread is more, just understand that that raid is going to be significantly harder. It's 100, and I'm only paying about 60 bread for raid, so it is going to be a little bit more harder, but I got boosted knights and boosted uh, archers, so I don't even got to worry about these ogres. So let's go. Yeah. I'm actually like, super, super excited. I have someone who's been donating, and you guys are just awesome. I'm just going to keep, like, literally, I'm going to spawn without these fucking archers, because these archers are just epic. I'm not going to worry about this asshole, because I'm just going to stun him. But I want you guys to pay attention how much health he has. That's the bigger problem. And then there's a bomb tower right there. Actually, that's not much at all. We're not going to worry about that at all. But anyways, pay attention to when these bows shoot. You see that explosive when those bows shoot? These guys are just fucking epic. Anyways, they, they can, they can uh, destroy people. They Oh, shit. No, 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 don't, don't blow up my archers, no! I'm not really too worried. The big, big thing about these archers, though, is that when you get to the castle gate, look, look, they just destroy buildings. They absolutely just tear down buildings, look at that. They, they just fucking demolish the buildings. Anyway, so something I want to point out that's really important is that, get, get that bum out of here. Is that when you get to the castle gate, sometimes you could have done everything right. I'm just stunning this ogre every time he gets over here, like, he can't even touch me. Uh, he, he does, like, a... He's what we would call like a slug, so he attacks really, really slow, but when he does attack, like, at least in the higher levels, he can one-shot kill you. So, look, look, we're just, we're just, that's it, that's it, we, we got it, we unlocked ogres. So the way you unlock monsters in this game, look, the way you unlock monsters in this game is by beating the actual chamber revolving around that one, and that's the behemoth chamber for the ogre. So we now have ogres, and I'm super, super happy about that. Like, I, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm entirely happy about this. I have boosted archers. I have ogres. It's a wonderful start to a new day. And one of the best parts about this is that now we can go down a bit deeper. I don't have anything really to unlock at the moment. So I might as well unlock it. The next thing we can unlock is our gargoyles. So uh, gargoyles, I don't know where, do, where do we have to go to unlock gargoyles. We start here, show, show. Oh, it's only like three down. I don't know if we, we'll take that one. We'll take that. So I think it takes about three minutes to get over there. Yeah, three minutes. And so in that three minutes, let's go raid some more. So uh, I, I literally, I want to like largely like over, what's the word? I want to over exaggerate the usefulness of these archers. These archers are so epic. So again, from levels one to 20, you can use knights mainly because the meta of the game doesn't change at all because there's nothing really unlocked. Uh, do I have the ogre? Yes, I unlocked the ogre. So something I want to do right now. I would actually add these ogres to these waves, because I want to show you something really quick. I would add these ogres to the waves, but look, right there, it already takes up 12 morale alone. But we can check out the stats on this thing, and compared to the paladin, which is, it's, it, that's its, uh, 
its comparison. It only does 30 more damage, but it has about three times the health. So in this case scenario, what we would do is we would multiply the Paladin times four because again, it's high health and high damage. That's basically what it is. So we will take, um, it's, it's weakness though is to piercing and Paladin actually has a resistance to piercing. So what we're going to do really quick is we're going to calculate the difference between these two. And if you multiply a Paladin times four, you have to, you have to consider the Paladin's level two, you know, you can consider that, but we also will level up our Ogre eventually. But Paladin uh, times four to equal the 12 morale points it would take us to get Ogre means that the Ogre should actually have around 4,000 health and around uh four by 27 around like almost 300 blunt damage so the ogre actually is not what we want to choose so i'm just going to keep up all my archers in here because they are they, oh god this is this is so beautiful so if you want to do a comparison really quick uh we have uh, i think six archers out six archers health wise that is going to be 3600 health and then piercing, that's going to be 1,200 damage. So, like, if that's, that's the way you want to calculate it. So, we are just, uh, we are just non-stop boosting. I'm going to go ahead and start upgrading my second wave because I told you guys it's super important that you guys upgrade the waves. Um, and what else can we upgrade? We, we literally don't have anything to upgrade until we finish our throne room. I don't want to upgrade our throne room just yet because when we get our throne room to level 3, we're actually going to be going over and unlocking... Um, our tournaments, our daily tournaments. As soon as tournaments get introduced into the game, again, the meta constantly changes. Every time you upgrade a new building, every time you get a new troop, the meta is constantly changing. I'm not looking for an easy raid anymore. I'm gonna look for raids that I can confidently know that I will gonna be, and this is the one I think I'm gonna... No, no, this man has three stars. No, this is, this is not the one. <laughs> this is not the one. But from now on, we're gonna start playing a little more, more strategically. This doesn't look too difficult. If I get my ass handed to me, I'm gonna cry. But this doesn't look too bad, especially because I have the stun spell in case anything bad happens. And I also have uh, my hammer strike is pretty upgraded now, but it's those elite boosted um, archers. Those are why I think that we're going to do just fine. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to spam the crap out of these. So we're not going to worry about these at all. I'm going to put that and stun these guys really quick. We're just going to go ahead and do... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He doesn't get no bum. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's okay. We can't. We can't stay over there forever. We just gotta build this bomb tower and keep going. Let me go over here really quick, and I want to stun that bomb tower because I don't want that bomb tower to shoot. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is a really smart move about the lanes because when you stick in that lane, you can't do shit. I need to make sure that this bomb doesn't. Oh shit! This is bad. Oh, can you? Can you guys not? Can you guys shoot that bomb tower? Can you shoot the bomb? Okay, there. See, look look at that. He's going to destroy that thing. He's going to absolutely destroy that. Okay, they should be fine. Let's just keep moving up here. And we should just be fine. They have fire, so they can burn that thing the hell down. It's this one. It's this ice tower that I'm worried about. We're doing absolutely fine here. We just need to get rid of this thing. And again, as long as the, the building is stunned, the building cannot hurt you. The same thing. That, okay, I need to kill this froster. This froster is going to slow everything down. There we go. Oh, we're whooping ass now. We're going. We are going, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta use a stun. This stun is actually really helpful, depending on what type of base you're facing. And this is definitely the kind of base that I would love to stun, because they have everything bunched up in these little corners, and every time I stun them, they're completely useless. In a base, this is what I said, you can overwhelm someone completely in one area. In a base that has, you know, all this shit. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the knights do not attack the spike, so that's why that kind of sucks. But, oh shit, no, 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 no. So... The uh, spikes are actually, okay, we're going to, we're going to hit back these bums. There we go. Let's go. Look at that. Look at that. 41 seconds. We're about to whoop this man's ass. I hope that no, there's no buildings over it. Now nah, he's done. We're going to save that stun right for there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, this is going to be like our first 100K raid. Is this 100K? Nah, it's going to be like, no, this is going to be like a 100K raid, isn't it? I didn't even know how much it was for. Look at that. First 100k raid, we absolutely destroyed them. And you know what? Realistically, I don't think that would have happened. Except that we have these boosted archers. Level 20. I thought we'd share that on Twitter really quick. Just to let all you guys know the progress that we're making. I'm going to get back to level 80 pretty damn soon. And we're going to whoop some ass. Uh, I don't know. Bottom, uh, top middle is what I was going to go for. Okay, I was going to go for bottom middle. That's actually what I was going to go for. But I'm going to go for one of the middles. Oh, God. That is... Yeah, so yellow is legendary. That, oh, that's that's actually really nice. So that sword, the reason it's nice is because it comes with a uh, fire added to it for the damage. And the reason you want to have that is because, again, my Blazing Knights are so effective because they can burn the shit out of buildings. But uh, 
my Ford can do that. It's it's just phenomenal. So we have another dungeon. I'm not worried about these dungeons too much unless you guys actually want me to give you tutorials on them. But you don't really need tutorial for these dungeons until you get farther down. Maybe like the grotto is the first one like I'll give a serious tutorial on or something like that. But I know definitely the fact that we whooped that behemoth chamber's ass. That's I'm just really happy that we got that. Anyways, we just spent a hundred thousand to upgrade our morale waves, and then we just got a hundred thousand back. So that's that's absolutely awesome. Our lion's tower got upgraded, so we are now able to donate uh i don't know if it, yeah we can donate two thousand now so there see i did my daily donations i i mean that, that's cool by me how much is ducky donating daily i would want to figure this out no internet he's donating two thousand dollars a day so perfect we're, we're donating about the same amount i have 28 gems so it costs an hour but i'll be able to donate five thousand a day i think that's going to be helpful but realistically i got to focus on like oh wait i have two things to upgrade yes i can definitely upgrade you because i want to be able to upgrade my alliance i can't leave everything up to hakama you know so let's see what we need i don't really want that silo right now it keeps telling me that i'm just gonna keep upgrading my barricades i think that's what i'm gonna do that's level six which is the maximum it can be at right now that's also that's level five level five and level four um i'd rather grab this to level six but i need to make sure that everything stays leveled out because something that i really always get carried away with is i start upgrading one thing to like to like crazy hell and that's not what you want to do so we need Inventors Workshop level 5. Level 5 to upgrade our barricades to the next level. Um, I'm not too worried about arrow towers because uh, throughout the game you're going to get better towers. The barricades I'm going to keep throughout the game. But uh, these arrow towers, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys what I'm going to do just so you guys understand it. Uh, the arrow tower, it's good for what we call direct damage. If you put something like the bomb tower, you have to wait for the bomb to blow up. The frost tower, it saps it away uh, occasionally. Or uh, like throughout time, the same thing with Gargoyle Tower. But the Firebolt is actually the one I want. It does direct and it also sets the guy on fire. So the Firebolt Tower, the Snake Tower, and the Skull Tower are going to be the best towers in the game for you to keep. So I don't want to upgrade my Arrow Towers and then, you know, like swap them up later. I feel like it's kind of like a waste. You know what I'm saying? So how about we just go ahead. Let me see if we can get another fat raid. Let's see if we can get one of those going. I got music in my ears. I'm like totally chilling out right now. Super happy. This guy, I don't, I don't want to trust him. Oh, something you want to pay attention to, if it says that you have, like, right now I have 816 cups, but I only have those because of my elite boosted troops. I'm going to be completely honest about that. But, um, this guy has two stars. You want to pay attention to the stars. If, it, like, like this, I can confidently beat him. 34,000. Um, oh, something that's also I want to keep in mind is that now that we have three members, because I, I will actually Ducky joined the other day, but now that we have three members, our gold boost is now 6%. We need another thousand 100 trophies which is about two people joining so if two more people join we'll have a seven percent gold boost which means after your raid you get to stack that money on top of what you have these cannons like why do you have cannons but you're so low level like if i had cannons i'd have like over a thousand gold trophies That's, i'm just being honest i'll take this no i don't want that because he had two towers over by his castle holy shit can i just get something fair like, I know, like, so he has Arb Blasters. What the fuck? Okay, you have Pyromancers. I want someone who has equal troops as me unlocked. I could actually whoop this guy's ass. I'm going to show you this really quick. I can whoop this guy's ass. Remember, he has, he, I saw his base. Like, you can always see their base before you fight. And he, like, has a bunch of shit in one area. So that's, that's what we're going to abuse. We're not going to use the stun just yet, because stun has a very, very long cooldown. We're going to stand right there, just like that. That's what we're going to do. And then remember, it's piercing damage and it's also blunt damage so that an ogre doesn't stand a chance. What you want to do with these ogres is you want to do what I call the dance of life, which means you kind of just want to like spin around them a little bit. Yeah, like just like that. And I got to make sure that these bombs don't blow up anymore because these bombs blew up like two times already. But for that ogre, you want to do what I call the dance of life. You kind of just want to run around them in a circle repeatedly. And as long as you are doing that, you'll be just fine. Again, I explained this to you guys yesterday. You do Oh, shit. That's a... No. You see, now everything is going to go slow. You oh, God damn it. I don't, I don't like this, man. Look, they, they just absolutely wipe everything out. Can, can I not have to run back every two seconds to get... Oh, my God. So many bombs. So many fucking bombs. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... You don't want to stick your towers next to these barricades because, again, you can easily just hit them. You can do it, but if you want to, when you make... Make sure in that scenario, first of all, some people just don't know to attack that. Make sure you scream. You know, you make them run a little bit faster. If you ever have anyone frosted, if you scream, you will be able to run through the ice. That, okay, just, just, just come with me. Thank you. Again, just, just stun that. Look, I'm not even... I'm Okay, stand in the middle when you want to hit him, and you're going to hit both at the same time. So look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. They just destroy these buildings. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's basically like you're shooting a paladin. 
Because Paladin, they don't shoot regular damage. Everyone has different types of damage. And blunt damage is, look, just do the dance of life. Just, just confuse the shit out of them. You just, you just do the dance of life. <laughs> Let's go, guys. So basically, the reason a paladin is better than a knight is because a paladin has more health, and instead of shooting normal damage, he goes ahead and I'm gonna stun the gate just so that by the way the gate doesn't shoot in your look. Look, this is this is this is game. Not everyone is shooting, and they're shooting kind of slow actually, but no worries there. We're still kicking ass. Bam. Okay, so I want to watch that gold boost. Oh, it didn't show me the gold. Oh, I didn't get any gold because I because I maxed it out or, or something like that. Okay, so we, we have two more. I'm gonna top right. Okay, good. Now this is the like the fat chest. I'm thinking top left. No! Bottom middle. Oh. Oh 30 gems! God damn it! I missed the Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, it's okay there. Uh basically, hey back from school. Check out those archers. Anyways, collect reward, loot a million gold. So, so far in this game, so far I've made a million gold. Uh, something happened with a friends list. I don't exactly know. Ducky? Ducky reached a new level. Throne room level 3. So everyone's getting their throne room to level 3. And again, I know that I should be, but I'm not going to do it. I'm playing the game. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I'm playing it slow but fast at the same time because I have a bunch of pearls. I'm stacking up on pearls. So I could upgrade that throne room. And if you guys want, by the next video, my throne room will probably be upgraded. I think it's a six or a nine hour upgrade. It's a nine hour. By my next video, I should have that thing at least like starting the upgrade or already have been upgraded. There's this uh, granny. I don't know if she was in my last video, but now that we've reached this level, you can buy daily items with your pearls. Or Oh, oh. I kind of like this. It's not, it's not too big of an increase, so I don't really care about it. But again, I just want to show you guys something really quick. I have three items on here that boost my leadership, inclusive to the fact that that helmet is also for everything. I'm pumping out leadership. I already have two epic items, which is kind of crazy to have this early in the game. So I'm more than sure that they changed the like the ruling for how to get those types of items. Let's just go for a really easy base because we're not trying to do anything crazy. We're just getting like minimum rewards for this i think we're almost yeah we're, we're already over 800 trophies which is amazing and all we're doing it is with these boosted knights and archers so let's see if we can go ahead and find something good just for to wrap up this video with and i don't think we're gonna find anything please please senor i already lost four thousand dollars looking for raids yes look at that the, the new enemy now per enemy cost 350 that's actually pretty damn expensive uh, this guy's our blasters. You should not. You should, uh, what the fuck? I'll take this. Just because everything is bunched up in one corner. And again, if it's bunched up, stun the crap out of it and keep walking forward. He cannot touch you. Those frosters, again, those frosters are super important because they slow down. There's two ways to win a raid. Either you kill the uh, the attacking knight or you just simply... Look, 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 look. I just, I just stunned six things. Oh, no, wait. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, six things. These blockades are upgraded barricades, but again, there's a reason I'm keeping my uh, barricades. And you guys are going to notice that very... You guys will notice that very soon. Holy shit! Yeah, I'm losing massive amounts of health. I need to stun and then go. Stun, 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 stun! Okay. Hmm. I'll see you guys in my next video.